video, in this video, in this video, in this video, we will see complementary symmetry play class B class B power at the head. Okay. Trans transistor which is a complement to each other is given and given. So we have 390 and 3904. Its complement only should take. So this, this is NPN. So you have to take PNP that is 3906. Okay, the complement of this is so we take here an MPN and one PNP. Okay, so you must uh, take this, this. See the both the emitters. Okay, this is PNP inside I. So this PNP and this MPN both emitters have to join and give to the node R1. Okay, and this end should be broken. So output we are taking at the two emitter. Okay. And this is reverse bias, so negative is connected to positive, and it is grounded. And this it is PNP, so P means you have to connect to negative. Okay, so this is the biasing to this. Okay, this is your load, and this we are giving input. Okay, so, so there is no input biasing to this to trans directly, we are giving V into this. Okay, so. Uh, the, the basing will be provided by the input only. Okay, so input I have given two volts. Okay, two volts peak to peak frequency one k. Okay, now we will see the transient response. So go to analyze again. Go to set up. Click on transient. Okay, I am speaking only for two cycles. So this zero to two milliseconds. Okay, so close. Go to analyze, stimulate. Okay, we'll see the output on how we understand it. So see this output. Okay, so. This is your input to us, it to be green color, okay? And output you see here, this. So, up to 0.6 of this, okay? It will not convert because the, you will not get forward bias to the base of the transistor. Okay? So, this your, up to this position, you are going to get 0. So, when it crosses, input crosses 0.6 volts, Okay, then only we will get so here, around here. Okay, so then it starts conducting and you will get this portion only the output. Okay, so one transistor that is NPN will conduct during positive cycle and PNP will conduct due to negative cycle. So you get you know, one through one only one cycle. Okay, so class B conducts only for 180. So we are using one more transistor to get the second cycle. Okay, that is three. Okay, so see this is your input, output is this. So here you are seeing there is some problem. This is called distortion. Crossover distortion is there in this problem. So in class B, this is the drawback. Okay, then you will get crossover distortion here. This this portion. Okay, so this is the response. Not the peak amplitude, how much you are getting? Okay, peak to peak. How much you are getting? All times. Just plot it down and calculate the efficiency. Okay, so this uh, crossover distortion is overcome by class AB. Okay, by making some modification in the same circuit, you can get. Class AB. Okay, let's see that also. So, this is a class A complementary symmetry which is having distortion of. Okay. So, now we will make, we'll, we will do class AB also. Okay. In this only we can make modification and you can eliminate the crossover distortion okay now uh, actually in this experiment we need to calculate the efficiencies okay 
So currents will get very much less because no bursting. Okay. So you need to use the formula. Only the peak voltage is given. Okay. So use the formula and calculate the efficiency. Okay. So the, now we will see how to overcome the uh, cross over distortion in this. Okay. By making some modification. I have taken one more means. Okay. I am opening that file. So class A. Okay. Same circuit but only thing is we added some diode. Okay. See here. This is diode. We know that diode cutting voltage will be 0.6. So that 0.6 is provided by this diodes. So, the biasing to the base to emitter now is 0.6. For this here, okay, so this VCC I am taking, this will come here, so how much here you will pick? So, here yeah, across this will be 0.6. So, it will be forward back. So, your initial biasing to this will be 0.6. Same thing is done here, okay, negative is connected to this, to this resistor. And this voltage has passing to this. Okay. Now this time just we have added this part to this to make it class AB. Same output I'm taking here. You see what is the difference in this. Okay. So same I've given two volts. Same, same thing. No change. Only this we have added in this. Okay. Same two volts. Two volts. Okay. Then go to online. Same setup. Only transient 2 millisecond. Same thing we do, only we have added this extra. Unlike stimulate. See how many crossover is eliminated in this class AB. So, so now we are getting, getting exact replica of the input. Earlier there was crossover disease. So almost green and red. Both are data. So, this is class AB. So, class AB now there is no crossover distortion because of this bias. Okay. So, crossover is in this form. This is how crossover is emulated in from class B. Okay. So, class B the problem was crossover in this you know, have this. Okay. So, that's all. Efficiency you will use the formulas. Okay. You know that because uh, starting cutting is not there. Uh, there is a formula. You use that formula to calculate the okay. That's all. Thank you.